Welcome to Milwaukee. The air is crisp, leaves are falling, and we are all dreaming of apples dripping in caramel. Bye, 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 but let's not forget all the delicious and nutritious fall vegetables that uh, there are out there as well. Registered dietitian Lisa Grezelanik is back to show us how to use fall vegetables for more than just decoration. <laughs> yeah. It's true. And, and I would say, besides, I'm going to show you the first thing here is carrots. Besides carrots, I really didn't know what to do with these fall vegetables yeah, until right? a few years ago. So okay. they're actually really easy. And the thing I also want to make before I show you how to prepare these vegetables is they're cheap. So everybody oh, yeah. talks about healthy eating being more yes, expensive. Right. This bag of organic carrots was two bucks. Then organic. For the whole organic, bag. The whole yeah. bag, two bucks. And then a butternut squash is a buck, an acorn squash is a buck. Is it, it necessary to buy, like, to look for organic in the squash? Not necessarily well? in the squashes. Okay. It's just, you know, to kind of disprove the myth that organic is always more expensive. Okay. Two bucks for a big right. old bag of carrots. That's true. And then when you go to the farmer's markets, you know, you get bro Brussels sprouts on these big old stalks, yeah. right? Yeah. And that big old stalk is like two to three dollars. So Brussels it's sprouts. really economical and they're super easy to make. So let's start with a familiar favorite, carrots. And what do we do with carrots? Well, you could take your carrot, and obviously this is a really well-washed carrot. And all you need to do for roasted carrots, which is going to make them very tender and make them sweet, I save a tip. When I, especially when I buy organic carrots and I wash them well, I don't even peel the skin. Okay. All I do is take some olive oil. And you could use butter too, so you could take um, some softened butter and just smear it over, or okay. you just drizzle really quickly your olive oil. Okay. And you got to get your hands in there, but then you take the olive oil and you're just going to smear it on each of your carrots like that, and you put it in the oven at 350 to 400 degree degrees. Okay. In this case, with carrots, I usually do 400 for 30 minutes. So we're not adding any salt, soft. no pepper or anything yeah. on there? Yeah, so these carrots right here, huh. I actually had the, um, I smeared some butter on them, put them in at 400 degrees, turned them at 15 minutes, left them in for another 15 minutes, and there they are. They're delicious, wow. they're wonderful. So they really become really sweet. Yes. And some mm. people like putting a little honey on them, mm -hmm. or you could put ginger on them and have ginger carrots, but really yes. I think they're sweet enough just when you roast them. Yeah. Okay. Then we have butternut squash, okay? So when you go to the store, folks, this is what the butternut squash it is. It is true. It's weird, and you're like, it's what, like, what do I the do heck do I do right. with that? Okay, right. so the first thing you do is you cut it off. You cut the, the neck off of the base, okay. and then when you then you cut this bottom in half. Okay. And what you have is seeds in there. So then you just take a spoon, and you scoop those seeds out, and you discard it. So now you're left with, you know, something that looks like this. Now what do I do? Well, you take your peeler, and you're just going to peel off the skin. So it's a little bit of a little bit tougher skin, but, but you, not impossible. Not impossible. You, right. It's done with a peeler. Okay. And so then what you do is you have this all peeled, and you get your little chunks of um, butternut squash. Slices. And all you do is you're just gonna slice it. You know, like you were cutting up any other type of vegetable, and you get your little diced up butternut squash. I toss those on an aluminum uh, lined baking sheet. Same thing here. Take your Back olive oil, olive hit oil. it with the olive oil, rub it all together in there. And I put, I like to put a little bit of um, pumpkin pie spice or nutmeg oh, on there. Okay. That's Just a little, a little sprinkle for fall, right? Mm -hmm. You can't goof it up. Don't be afraid. Put this in the oven at 400 degrees. And it's going to take about 25, 30 minutes. Just keep an eyeball on it at the end because if you overcook it, you'll see here on some of my, my uh, uh, butternut squash, I probably should have took it out five minutes earlier. But then you have really nice, well-cooked butternut yeah. squash. Mm -hmm. You know, I like it with a little. Yeah, some people like it that way. So that was a half hour at 400 degrees. Done. Okay. Then we move on to acorn squash. It's uh, another scary one. Yeah. Thing. What the heck? And I gotta be honest, I didn't use these till maybe like a year ago. Cause again, I didn't know what to do right. with them. Yeah. I've only ever made baby food out of those. Wow. I've never had them as an adult because I don't know what to do with them. And it. Wow. I had a client a year ago who made this awesome. Uh, butter and uh, acorn squash recipe that I'm going to show you today. So all you do is same thing. You cut this puppy in half. When you, I, I wash the skin, so I washed it. I cut it in half. Same thing here. There's seeds inside the scoop acorn them. squash. Take your spoon, scoop those out, discard it. Now you have a really clean inside. Same thing here. You take your olive oil, you smear it on there. Now with acorn squash, savory spices go well. So using some sage. Or again, here comes the nutmeg for fall. So I just sprinkle, I put the olive oil on there a little lightly, sprinkle sage and um, nutmeg, then boom, put them on your aluminum foil pan, boom. 400 degrees, 45 good. minutes. Turkey and then the inside here, just on a, another side dish, I um, put together some Italian sausage, celery, mushroom, onion, you toss it on the inside, there you go.
Wow. I put a couple cranberries in there for fall. But you could put whatever you want on the inside, and then this is a whole meal right here. And it yeah. and it, it roasts on the inside, and they have you cover yeah. it with foil or anything? Nope. I just, you actually put them, when you put these on, uh -huh. things from your knuckle sounds, you put them down face down. Ah. Uh. And you Can roast I them. Can I say also, because <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, how many dirty dishes are we talking about? But this helps because you peel this off, and this exactly. is like takes the place of a bowl. So yes. I'm super excited about this. Yeah. Oh, this, I, I love spoon. doing this, roasting yeah. it like doing, because it is less dishes. Less I always dishes. use that, and then I have to do the pan. Right. right. Last but not least, my favorite vegetable in the last couple of years has become Brussels sprouts. I did not grow up eating Brussels sprouts. I didn't know what they even they taste like. I didn't know they grew on a, stra a stock. They grew Seriously. really funky. They're I didn't fabulous, know. Yeah. So all you do at Brussels sprouts, these are washed Brussels sprouts, and they have a little nub on the end, and you don't want to eat that little nub because it's kind of bitter and tough. That's all you do. You cut off the end. That's all you do. That's all your prep for Brussels sprouts. Notice all these, the prep is like five minutes or less. It's right. super yep. easy. Right. Whoops, dropped a little bit. You throw it in a pan. Now what do you do to make those Brussels sprouts shine is I have a recipe on YourTastyLife.com. It'll be linked on um, Fox 6's website as well. But all you do is I put a quarter cup of chicken stock in with the, so I, I cut all these up. So I have my whole pan of the Brussels sprouts. You put it um, in, your, in your pan. Um, I like to make them with bacon. Everything tastes better it's with bacon. So true. If you need a gateway to start Brussels sprouts, bacon, bacon. is yeah. It's yeah. crazy. So how I cook some is. bacon and I remove the bacon. And that same pan with all the bacon drippings, you put the Brussels sprouts ah. in. That gives all that flavor. And then the broth on top of that. A little chicken stock, a little butter, salt and pepper. You cook those puppies for about 8 to 10, 15 minutes, depending on how thick yours are. Um, if you have really big ones like this, you might want to cut them in half. Cool. Okay. And but that's it. Try it. And this it's is really your good. plate of roasted vegetables, yeah, so and it looks just delicious. Wonderful. And so again, recipes. Check me out on Facebook, Your Tasty Life. Go to the website. But super easy, doable things to easy. incorporate fall no vegetables. No excuses. Exactly. So healthy, Lisa. and it's on the cheap. Rob would love this. Yum. Thing. Where's yum, Rob? Yum, yum. Thank you very much. We'll be back. <laughs>